Welcome to Nintendo Ninja News, and it is our 50th show, which is fantastic for the NNN show. Just where we talk about opinions and a bit of life and thoughts and things like that. Now, for this episode, I guess we're looking down a little bit of memory lane and looking at just some of the uh, favorite episodes that I've done over that time. And there were some good memories, there were some good ones, and there were some others that weren't that great. Um, <clears throat> as I shall get to my list very soon. Oh, there it is. <coughs> Should have done it before the recording, but that's all right. Now, now, um, going back, and I'll put some of the, um, the links in and that. Actually, just go to the playlist. Um, on the main page and you can look at all the episodes now and also the episode numbers and if you like something just you know jot it down on a notebook and pad so I think I did about 10 at 10 episodes that I liked episode 8 was the one that I talked about the cinematic universe um, the movie universe of Nintendo and that was the first episode that did quite well got a couple hundred views or so and uh, got people talking about what they would have liked to see in a cinematic sort of type universe, which is pretty, pretty cool. Um, the other one was probably the funniest episode I did was Mighty Number no. 9, because I just kept on laughing throughout the video, because I just thought the whole, the game and how it came together on Kickstarter was such a joke, and it was such a joke. It was quite funny um, about how it all came about. Now, the next one was episode 13, and that was, dun da 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 that was Pokemon Go when it first came out, and <clears throat> Lucky 13, and it was funny doing the little intro with the Pikachu um, suit on and things like that, or the hoodie as you call it, and all the hype and excitement, that, and I was really excited about it when it first came out, um, not so much anymore, I don't play it anymore, but um, it was good fun while I was around for those the first few months where literally every single person was playing that game. It was really, really um, amazing to see. <clears throat> Episode 16 was about how much Nintendo merchandise is enough. And I talked about how Nintendo fans are sort of obsessive type people when it comes to collecting all the Pokemon and collecting all the Amiibos or collecting all the limited editions of the 3DS. And... That was a very interesting episode to do. And I like the little photo, the thumbnail that I did, you know, all the stuff that came up and, you know, covers my face and that. So, I mean, it was a lot of fun doing that episode and sort of talking about that. The following episode, episode 17, was um, showing off the new camera. I think that's the only reason why I liked it. And I think we got something like... 60,000 views after that point and that time of Nintendo Ninja News we're up to about 160 now so another 100k down the track um, with the camera um, it really did change a lot of things we did GammaCon we did EB Games Expo we've done um, a couple other conventions too so it's, it's had some good use out of it um, it's probably definitely had more use out of it this year when I went for my two week break holiday and came back and um, did and started back with the uh, web camera instead of the webcam, the little one that I use here. So that was interesting to um, to talk about and to, to sort of you know just change up things and that. Um, episode twenty two was that GammaCon. It was the first time we did something outside of the desk thing. So that was a big thing. It was at an event and it was all sorts of craziness and. Um, Oh, it was really, really cool. It's really, really cool. And then in episode 24, we we stepped it up even more. We went out to Sydney, whole different city um, for the EB Games Expo and all that sort of thing. Um, we did it at the Sydney Opera House. But the problem was the audio was crap. Um, everything was extremely windy. It was hard. It was difficult. And I'm going to coming with a different game plan when I uh, returned to Sydney one day. I think that was the problem too, that there really was um, an issue about that. So, oh dear. 
Um, episode 36, we're now actually getting to the second half. Most of, most of the best episodes were the early ones, so I might have to sort of kick it up a notch in terms of um, the topics and stuff like that. Um, running Nintendo Ninja News was a video that I did talk about how to run the channel and all that sort of stuff, and it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun, and I might even do an update version um, of it. Let's just, just write that down as a note. In terms of, you know, maybe I've, I've learned a bit um, since, you know, episode 36 um, would have been a year ago now, I guess, maybe. Because I took down the NNN show after episode 43 or 42. And it went off for basically three or four months. And then it came back. When I came back from my holidays, I was like, yeah, we've got to get that thing going again. So, you know, very, very happy about that one. And the last one was when I was at the lake, another location one, the third one to be on the list. I really enjoyed it. We hit 150k likes. It was episode 45, and that was a lot of fun. It was really, really good, and I was very thankful um, to get all those views and um, to do the lake thing. It was nice. I, I think the, the picture quality was probably nearly the best that I ever filmed. So it was really, really cool. So um, I think that's it. It's been an amazing 50 episode. I'm already thinking of about two or three automatically now. Um, now that I can get it, get the special 50th uh, anniversary show out of the way. And it, not that I didn't want to do it, but it's just something to... to um, Go back in memory lane and people can go watch some of the old episodes. Because it's a good little series and I enjoy it. And now with the Nintendo Ninja Facebook Live, and that first episode turned out really well. Uh, about 25 views and we've got 800 on Facebook, so it all turned out really well. Um, we'll just keep trying to do little segments like this. And the, um, the unboxings. Um, thing we we might even give it a name because it's such a uh, popular series. It's fucking it's done really really well for me, and I'm very very proud of it. So um, let's call it let's call it for a day, and that is it for me from Nintendo Engineers, and I shall see you next time.